Yo, what is up, fellas? It is Friday. I want to give you another quick update for the charts. What's going on? I have updated Instagram and TikTok already. Your boy's on there doing his little fucking TikTok dances. You know, just trying to trying to fit in with the kids. You know what I'm saying, man? Anyways, I wanted to give you guys a bit of an update. We had a bit of a day, okay? So we talked about the squiggly line, right? Everyone remembers the squiggly line that I shared. And price has been respecting the squiggly line as it should. So I'd mentioned, and if you've been watching all these little quick YouTube videos and the longer ones I've been doing, I had mentioned, um, you know, this is resistance up here on the weekly chart. This is high time frame resistance, okay? High time frame resistance up here on the weekly chart. I said, I expect a reaction. What that reaction is, how big it is, we don't know yet, but it's gonna have a reaction. We got the H12 sweep. We got the market structure break. We put in a breaker here. Um, we sold off and I said, you know what? I do think that we've left two areas untouched right we didn't tag this breaker and then here we front ran this demand so i said i think we come down here we tag this and then we go up here we tag this and then we sell all the way off and everyone's gonna cry because everyone said you're not gonna get a dip main you're just a greedy greedy bear you're not gonna get a dip that's what they were saying on twitter they're telling you that they're saying you're not gonna get a dip dude and usually when everyone in unison is uh, on the same page something's wrong right doesn't usually always work out i'm still bullish i've kept that very clear but i'm just day trading here we're just trading level to level i don't care if you think we're about to break out to 100k i'm just taking trades man i already got my bags packed if we're about to break out i'm ready to go so talked about the squiggle and and it played out just like french chef's kiss Right, so we did front run the zone, came down, tagged, came up, tagged the breaker, and then sold off. And I talked about this in yesterday's video, I think, or the day before, whenever I posted it. So there's a chance this is a lower high, right? There's your fib pull to give you the sweet spot. You have the breaker here, market structure break, all the things you'd want to short. Stop above the high, good risk reward here. So I did. So what I actually had done, because I've been talking about doing this live trading stuff. So I had to go to the gym, but I saw the trade playing out. So I entered it um, on Blowfin. So what I did here is I loaded up 100K. Um, you can see that here. Now it's 110. Uh, I loaded up 100K. I'm like, let's we'll use this for the live trading and stuff. Uh, this is a no KYC exchange. This is why I'm using it. So if you want an exchange that's no KYC, you can watch me use this. This is what I've been using for no KYC right now. Um, and I shorted. You can see my entry here, 68568. But what did I, so what I did is I recorded it too. I hit record and I went to the gym. Let the trade run. And I thought by the time I came back, um, you know, it looked cool. You could see it, you know, playing out live. Then what happened is my computer just like fucking crashed. So the recording got all mocked. Um, so, I mean, it's not, I, I wanted to show it live. Like I wanted to stream it or something like that, but it just didn't work. I was going to post it and everything. I had all these grand plans. So that was mistake number one is my computer crashed. That was kind of out of my control. But then before bed, we were just kind of dribbling down here. And I said, you know what? Maybe this is going to, pop up one more time so I, I shorted here we traded down to here right um and you can see my exit was you know 800 dollars lower short 15 bitcoin i made just under 10 grand um but we we're here and i said you know what maybe we're gonna come and take this high just one more push just kind of based on the reaction we had here so if i just do this real quick Right, we had this H4 block here and we kind of had like a decent reaction from it. So I was like, hmm, maybe this thing is gonna pop one more time. And we started trading up. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna take the money. It's 10 grand, it's a new account. Just gonna try and run it up anyways. Um, I'll just take the money. And I closed the trade down because I thought maybe I'll wake up, 
to this, but just above here, and I'll get another opportunity to get an even better short. Woke up, tether FUD, Israel Iran FUD, and uh, this thing barely even came back to my entry and puked again. So a little annoyed with myself. That's poor trade management. I'm also bummed I didn't get it on video. I mean, I got the start of it on video, but the whole point was to have the entire trade on video. Um, but yeah, so now, you know, we have an interesting question. Like what comes first? Is it the news or is it price, right? Half of Twitter today is like, okay, well, Tether FUD, Israel Iran FUD. That's why price went down. But if you've been following my videos over the last few days, I've been telling you that if it's going to reject, it's from here. So is it just a coincidence that price rejects and then the bad news happens? Then you can point and say, well, that's the reason why it happened. I like to think that everything's in the chart and the news just injects volatility. That's just my thoughts. Maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. So what are we doing now? Um, still got a pretty decent spot discount. We're seeing huge amounts of inflows like from the ETFs, massive, but we're not seeing price go up and we're not even seeing spot in a premium. To me, that's not necessarily a good sign. So I think there's really two things that can happen right now. This can either just accelerate downward. We do seem to be on a bit of a tinderbox, right? If something does happen, the market is very sensitive and reactive. We've seen that. So it could just sell off further. Um, or maybe we get some short-term relief from this demand here that we're in on the H12 and we get another bounce, right? But personally, I think any other bounce is probably another short opportunity. So if we get a bounce up into here, I'd probably short it. And if we get a bounce up above here, I'd probably short it as well. I do think that we're we're setting up here just based on how this looks. This looks distributive to me. So I have a feeling, even if we run these highs, I have a feeling that this range that we're in right now between here and here ends up trading us down to here. It's kind of the vibe I'm getting. My first target would be here though. There is that support around 63. But I'm just getting the vibe that, you know, this is actually setting up to be a, 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 a sell-off could be wrong. As you guys know, I'm just trying to play level to level, right? We talked about from here to here. We talked about from here to here, here to here. Now we're looking for maybe here to here and then here to here, one step at a time. We don't need five moves in advance, but just as things progress, this is what I'm kind of sensing, what I'm feeling. So we'll have to wait and see. Want to get a quick update for you guys. I hope everyone has a safe and fun pre-Halloween weekend. And uh, who knows, maybe my next stream I'll be in costume. We'll see. All right, guys, talk to you later.